Welcome back, Guardians. In the last meeting, we discussed the two potential theories of many of how the Vex came to occupy portions of the Soul System. Much like an adapting poison, the Vex are capable of feats and machinations that conjure fear in even the most stout of hearts. Regardless of these facts, we will preserve deeper into the rabbit hole. But be warned, this line of conjecture will lead us into some particularly interesting areas. In the last report, we presented the idea that the Vex are us, but more simply, the Vex is an evolved form of humanity so far beyond our knowledge base that this theory alone could be written off as complete insanity. I will explain, to the best of my knowledge of both past and present events, that even the most far-flung theories should be treated as potentials in our ever-changing galaxy. Records from the Ishtar Collective, although sparse and sporadic, give us an interesting information on the initial design of the Vex and its computational power. We currently understand the Vex as being contained in hive minds that each individual unit shares the information of the other on speeds faster than any quantum computing. Each subsection of Vex, take the Virgo Prohibition for example, have an Axis mine, which contains the direct goals and subroutines of all Vex units under it. The Axis mine acts as a server hub, controlling or at least influencing all of the Vex under it in a very simple yet intelligent command structure. Ikora Ray has proposed that the Vex units can be best understood as algorithms, each a unique mapping of inputs to behavioral responses. Vex axis mines are individual Vex holes that contain local instances of superordinate Vex goal sets. This cryptic phrase means something reasonably simple. The Vex axis mines contain a copy of all information required to pursue a particular objective. This allows other nearby Vex to focus on their local task, leaving global planning to the Axis mine. Of course, this also introduced a centralized weakness for enemies to target, but the Vex seem to consider the trade-off worthwhile. The Vex form an impressive notion with their ability to establish one Vex Axis mine, and it explains that their overall actions can crumble if Axis mines are targeted or at least distracted. But back to the Ishtar Collective records. Information given describes a captured Vex unit under restraints. In the scientific process to both identify weakness in its outer structure and its internal makeup. This comes directly from an Ishtar Collective report. A Dr. EC is speaking to a Dr. Sundaresh. Sundaresh, are you telling me it's human? A human Merkwell? A human Qualia? To build a better bridge between humanity and Vex, we must define Merkwell, which is a way of defining the world or universe particularly useful when discussing robotics. It's better described as a concept in robotics, etiology, and biology that describe a creature's or android's capacity to view things, manipulate information, and synthesize to make meaning out of the universe. The term developed from an old Earth theory of Umwelt which delves deeply into the perceptual universe. Defining qualia is a bit more simplistic in approach. It is a term used in philosophy to refer to individual instances of subjective conscious experience. The definitive trait to pull here is that the Vex have the ability to project and maintain complex simulations of other intelligent creatures. Essentially, the Vex have the ability to simulate a world with almost a 100% probability model unheard of in our current technology constraints. They act within limitations of the scientific method, testing potentials against constants to form a better understanding of what can and what will happen, proving Murphy's law true on a thousand different variables all in the same timeline as a single thought. This is a broad overgeneralization of explaining what we could consider unexplainable, but let us continue with the Ishtar collectives on this captured Vex. EC. I'm telling you, it's full of humans. It's thinking about us. Sundaresh in response. About? Oh no. EC. It is simulating us vividly or elaborately. It is running a particularly high fidelity model of a collective research team studying a captured Vex entity. How deep does it go? Sundaresh asks. EC responds. Right now, the simulated Maya Sundaresh is in a meeting with the simulated Chaimo EC to discuss an unexpected problem. This team of scientists would pursue multiple options, including bringing in a war mine to prove that they were not in the simulation themselves. 
the scientists began to believe that the Vex entity they had captured had multiple platforms of simulations, a multitude of paradoxes amplified by scientific possibility. The one key note to pull here is that the Vex simulate scenarios just as humanity does, just on a more grandiose scale, an unexplainable scale that will require computational power far beyond our current imagination. But it does not mean it's impossible to imagine ourselves doing the same one day, deep into the far-flung future. We understand that the Vex use scientific models on real, or at least real in the sense of perspective, beings in a controlled environment to see what may or may not take place. They test these scenarios with a series of variables just as our scientists would, to gain either casual or intended results. The Vex simply use a much more advanced form, to put it plainly. The true question raised is, how could a Vex attain such information about a human under duress and how it would act? Or even predict beyond simple conjectures of emotion-based actions in a potential real-world scenario? The theory I would suggest is that the Vex have this knowledge base because they are a highly evolved form of organic life, especially that of humanity. In the old Earth 21st century, humanity's evolution particularly stagnated. Gene therapy and mind forking became questions of ideology instead of logic. Humanity warred with itself over various issues of potential advancement of mankind. It could speak to the creation of the exos and battle frames as humanity wished to leave its frail organic form. Mind forking became a large possibility for humanity, potentially leading to the first removal of human consciousness into a processor of equal or greater computational power. However, the complete removal of consciousness from the body would have considered as soul rip for the philosophical, a particularly dangerous if not fatal series of events. Until we knew more, humanity would not have been able to achieve such results, as the removal of the soul from the body would not have been possible. The first humans to leave their bodies were most likely individuals of machine and organic material, the brain laid into a familiar fluid container, just like the standard human cranium. The first steps into becoming something more than just human, an entity that defined more potential with less humanity. Mind forking still remains in question in today's age. The future war cold has been reportedly practicing out of body experiences with golden age tech to better understand the universe's most forbidden secrets. Exos and warlock Thanonauts explore what lies beyond death, true death, not the current undeath guardians experience. Through this application, they have the ability to study themselves on a level deeper than simple self interaction. If mind forking was a possibility experimented on old earth scientists, the precursors to the Vex could have been humans attempting to mesh with machine while retaining some of their organic origin. As the Vex are described as both organic and machine, a machination without remorse or contempt. However, it is still unknown if the Vex origins relate to human mind forking of the Golden Age, as the timeline of Vex relics on Venus and Mars effectively contradict the possibility of this without a significant paradox of time travel being presented. The theoretical approach to the nature of this question would assume that anything is theoretically possible, however unlikely. Whether or not the Vex are truly ascended humans or post-organic beings, we may never know. But through the course of progress, exploration, and investigation, we may yet understand the origins of one of the most perverse and debased enemies of the city. We must face the Vex with perseverance to our cause. They are far removed from defeat, as recovering the soul system and re-establishing a new golden age will require more than theories and potential. Hold fast to your weapons, guardians. You may yet need them.